is Chris and we are the CCW. Taipei 101 formerly known as the Taipei World Financial Center is a landmark skyscraper located in Xinyi District, Taipei, Taiwan. Taipei 101 is owned by the Taipei Financial Center, TFCC, and managed by the International Division of Urban Retail Properties Corporation based in Chicago. And that, uh, and that there is the platform bridge. It connects Taipei 101 Mall to ATT Mall and V Show Theater second floor. This brings great convenience. In addition, the transportation system is brilliant. Taipei 101 comprises of 101 floors above ground and 5 floors underground. And the building was architectally created as a symbol of the evolution of technology. <laughs> And the tower served as an icon of Taiwan culture ever since its opening. And its style and incorporates traditional design elements that give them modern treatments. And the beautiful shopping mall adjoining the tower houses hundreds of fashionable stores, restaurants, and clubs. This is the page one bookstore. There are lots of books here. Do you think that Taiwan is so important to Taiwan? Because I think that Taiwan is four Da, 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 da. I'm loving it. The security here is brilliant. There are hidden cameras everywhere. Not to mention about that nice looking guard at the parking lot's entry. Fireworks launched from Taipei 101 feature prominently in international university broadcasts and the structure appears frequently in travel literature and international media. Construction reaches the 92nd floor in July 2003. Although nearing completion, the technological crown jewel of 101 is yet to be put in place. The tuned mass damper, the crucial windproofing mechanism designed to counteract the horizontal sway of 101's massive bulk. Although mass dampers have been used in skyscrapers before, they've never been this shape, they've never been this big, and at 380 meters, they've never been this the designers needed to minimize the effect of wind, so they began with building's exterior. One one special re-entrant corners drastically reduced the flow of wind around it. Even if the wind of the skyscraper is reduced, energy will continue to gather unless released. If engineers cancel the accumulation of energy, then the building requirements of strength and flexibility The big will golden be. ball in the sky will stay exactly where it is. Staggering 660 tons. Not even the awesome Type A 101 cranes can lift something this huge and heavy. The ball arrives in prefabricated sections which are then welded together on site. It's then hung from 16 10 centimeter thick cables and tuned to make it swing in exactly the opposite direction to the building. When the building moved by the
Taipei is a disaster zone. All work on the building stops as aftershocks continue to strike, insurance disputes rage, and engineers and surveyors check the massive building for hidden. Taipei 101's unique megastructure and wind damper will make the building resist the impact of earthquakes and violent storms. But all of this engineering means nothing unless the giant building has a solid foundation on which to sit. This giant building needs a solid foundation. It's very hard to find a solid foundation in Taipei. Over hundreds and thousands of years, the changing sea level have filled the basement with layers of soft, unstable silt and clay. Geotechnical engineers spend eight months collecting core samples to analyze the soil on the building site. They find three distinct layers of soft sediment before finally reaching solid ground. This information helps designers to develop detailed plans for 101's foundation structure. Preparing the foundations takes 15 months and removes 700,000 tons of earth from the site. The foundation of a skyscraper is one of its most vital structural elements. It must distribute the building's enormous weight evenly below ground, at the same time creating a super strong base for the towering megastructure above. Aesthetically, Type A 101 is broken into sections resembling a stem of bamboo. But similarities with this fast-growing superplant don't end here. Just like bamboo, the distinct structural sections of 101 strengthen and support the whole building. Each section operates as an independent unit, transferring the building's massive weight away from the outside of the building and into the middle. The result is a stronger, lighter and more flexible tower. An investigation is launched involving some of Taiwan's leading geologists to find out where the fault is and how far it is from the Taipei 101 site. They need to establish if it's active and how they should deal with it. The results shock everyone. Then we drill number four. Okay, we encountered the, the, the fault. And this fault actually, the, the gauge was uh, around 10 meters thick. It's a huge one. In most earthquakes, the closer the building is to a fault, the worse the impact. The fault found by Dunstan and his colleagues is not only huge, it's close. Only 200 meters away from the 101 construction site. Every summer, unstable equatorial air off the coast of Taiwan generates vicious typhoons that lash Taipei. These intense tropical storms, with winds of up to 200 kilometers per hour, can literally blow a building to pieces. But it's not just strong winds that designers of 101 have to worry about. The surface area of a skyscraper is so huge that even a small breeze can still have a major effect. As wind hits a building, it impacts in two ways. First, the exposed face of a building can be pushed by the wind like a giant invisible hand. But under certain conditions, the wind can generate... The unique foundation combined with 101's mega frame and damper gives the building an extraordinary resistance to earthquakes. Type 101's characteristic blue-green glass curtain walls are double panned and glazed, offer heat and ultraviolet protection sufficient to block external heat by 50% and can sustain impact of 8 short tons. Construction started on 1999 and was finished in 2004. In many ways, Taipei 101 has grown exactly what Taiwan's people are capable of. This is CCW and thanks for watching.